and with some of my friends I'm like a pushover and I just I just hate that for me good morning you guys I'm back um so I'm um, today I'm actually going to Delaware Park because I didn't feel like working out today in the class that I normally go to I just have not been feeling like the best you know what I'm saying so yeah so I literally went to the gym once this week so far so I'm probably gonna go to the gym this weekend yeah but today I'm just gonna go walk in at Delaware Park so I'm bringing with me so you guys can look at Delaware Park if you ain't from Buffalo you can see De Delaware Park <laughs> is right next to the zoo um yeah so that's what we're gonna do and then but yeah oh and the update you guys remember how I was I don't even know if I was telling you that I had interview on Friday right so I got this interview on Friday and I was a little stressed out because the lady was supposed to send me the link the um zoom link and she never did <laughs> so yeah there's that um um and all the information for it or whatever like i guess she goes in a zoom link friday but the actual um like application and all the stuff that she wanted me to complete she wanted me to fill that out before the interview and i'm like you didn't send it to me <laughs> yes yeah, so i was a little stressed over that or whatever but i was just like you know what it's okay i'm not that um stressed out about the interview because it's zoom so i'm just gonna like do my makeup and do my hair and just wear like a plain top <laughs> and wear some shorts because tomorrow's gonna be 80 degrees honey why well, get a phone call yesterday and um the lady want to interview me friday so I have to go there. I gotta go there on um, Friday in the morning. And then at like 2 o'clock, I have a um, Zoom interview. So I actually do need to figure out what I'm gonna wear to this interview. And quite frankly, um, I work in healthcare, so most of our clothes is like um, scrubs. So I don't really have any business casual clothes that's appropriate for 80 degree weather. Uh, so I don't know what I'm about to freaking wear. I really want to just wear like a dress. But anyways, um, yeah, but I'm not talking about much. So I'll see y'all in a minute. So I'm going to take y'all on um, <laughs> my phone because I'm looking, I'm like, okay, I have too much stuff trying to carry. Um, I have to bring my keys because I don't have any pockets. Um, then on top of that, I got my phone because you know who about to who about to not have a phone, not me. So yeah, and my car keys, my phone, and then this camera. That's just too much. That's just too much. So yeah. So I see y'all on the phone. Okay. So I got my headphones. Figured out what I was going to do with my keys. Okay, so far the key is holding secure on my shoe. So, yeah, at least that's one less thing that I gotta hold. But let me just give you some views. Well, I didn't feel secure with my key fob on my shoelace, so I just put it inside here yeah, because, yeah. The last thing I want to be doing is being stuck at Delaware Park looking for my damn key fob. <laughs> this is the entrance for the zoo. They used to have their COVID that people could drive down through the park. <laughs> and like you could park on the side, but they stopped that. I'm actually glad because now you could really listen to your mu music and you gotta really worry about the cars behind you. But they do have like cars coming, you know, for the park that's like doing lawn care and stuff. 
so yeah but they don't drive crazy too when you walk in sometimes sometimes you can see some of the animals through the gate when you walk through here so that's nice but let's see if we see any animals ah look we found some animals some buffalo look I'm not scared of lions and tigers and bears But I'm scared of the I'm not scared to perform at a soon out of fairs But I'm scared of the You are the only one who thinks it's sending for simple days Why it don't last is that too much to ask Why do we love love when love seems Okay let me finish my walk. Um, so I just finished my walk. Um, it was actually a pretty good walk. Um, according to my watch, I burnt 222 calories, which was pretty good because um, that's all I'm doing today. Even though, like, because I told you I haven't been feeling like the best. After I finished the walk, I was like, yo, I could just lift like some weights right now. Because my body is just so used to, you know, doing my cardio and my strength training, you know. But I don't know. I think it's okay, though, to sometimes just give yourself breaks. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love working out like that is like a stress reliever for me. But... The fact that I have not been feeling like the best the whole week. I don't think I should push myself more than I already pushed myself, you know, to um, do what I did. Because I, I did good, <laughs> you know. So, yeah. I have some pants I was thinking about just wearing with this shirt. I kind of don't like how this looks. Especially when it's buttoned up. I feel like I look like I'm choking. I look like a blimp. I kind of like this one. Good morning. So I'm on my way to my um, interview. Um, I'm about, to, I'm like an hour. It's like an hour from now. So I'm going to run to Starbucks first and then I'll be heading into the interview. So come on. I'm not bringing you in with my inter to my interview just so you know. Even though I know common sense will let y'all know that I wasn't going to do that. But yeah. Okay. So my interview is over. I end up putting on these earrings. It's a little much but Earrings that I wanted to um, put on, I couldn't find. And I couldn't find my glasses, so you know I don't like not having my glasses on. Um, so, that interview was long as hell. I had two interviews in one day. I was an hour and a half. I think I got the job though. <laughs> but I just gotta send um her my um references and stuff like that, which that's not nothing. I still have a interview um for this other job in two hours. Let me see if they sent me this zoom link. It does not look like they sent me the zoom link still. So, I don't know what's going on with them. But they paid decent as well. And, um, this position that I just got interviewed for is for something that I would like to do that's not bedside. And the good thing is that, um, it's inside a hospital. 
So once I pass my FMP um, certification, I'm good because this hospital is actually dealing with peds, women, and adults. So I'll be a family nurse practitioner. So it works out for me because where I was at before, I was basically working with a lot of adults and a lot of mental health. And that's not where I wanted to go in my career. Like, I'm just going to be really, really honest about it. Like, I don't want to work in psych. Kind of don't want to work with um, adults. Uh, kind of don't want to work with adults wanting to work with kids. But I'll work with women. Women, I don't mind. Women's health. Women's health is a lot easier than... Um, in adult health so yeah so now we have to find something to thinking about um um about just a certain situation and thinking about how you know I've been friends with a lot of people that I know for a long time and I feel like um I don't know if anybody else has been in, in a position like this where if you've been friends with somebody and you start to feel like they're basically taking your um friendship for granted that's why I kind of feel like, and I feel like, um, in with some of my friends, I'm like a pushover, and I just, I just hate that for me. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know. I feel like I would just want to just not be like that, and I'm like about about cutting certain friendships off. You know. But I don't know why it's so hard to end friendships for me. Like, it's hard. You know, it's really hard for me to connect with other, um, other um, women. Like, to build, like, friendships. Because, you know, as far as me, like, I'm, I don't trust people easily. And then, um, on top of that, I'm very shy and like I'm real quiet so I don't really speak to a lot of people and I speak to the people that I've known for forever you know and I know that I've been thinking over the years that I'm like I do want to build genuine genuine new connections with other women like new friendships you know what I'm saying and just meet new people but it's just like it's so hard and I know i seen people make videos like girl just go on do and you can meet new people and da, 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 da. and it's just like it's really not it's not that easy it's really not that easy at least not to me and I feel like that's what I need I need to get rid of some of these not some of these this particular person that I'm talking about because I feel like they're they are not a real friend and certain times they can be like oh a friend but I just feel like some of the stuff don't be genuine it just be more so to be like look what I did for you you know because when it all when it's all boiled down I'm a very low maintenance friend I don't require a whole bunch of time you know what I'm saying I don't be you know needing all your time I don't need to talk to you every day and all that shit you know but I, I feel like sometimes when you the low maintenance friend you tend to be the friend that's um, fucked, fucked over because they're like, Oh, she won't care, Maureen won't care, she won't give a fuck, so we won't even ask. Okay, okay so I'm back. So I'm back. I went to Trader Joe's, 
a water brush I am, but the Trader Joe's here is always super packed. But um, they didn't have the one that I wanted. They were all sold out, but they had this. I never tried this one, so not. it's not like I could smell it there because they got this wrapping on it. So it's coconut body butter. You guys get to see my first reaction. Hmm. It smells like coconut and yogurt at the same time. Okay. All right. I like it. Okay, so it's the 4th of July. I'm actually rushing because I need to get to my mother-in-law's house so that I, I can cook. I'm actually running late and I have to grab my mother. So I'm running a little late, but I was like, let me pick up the camera. So yeah, I just did my two strand twist. I was going to try to thug it out and wear my twist like this, but baby, no, I'm going to put my scarf on because I'm not built, I'm not built like that. I'm not built like that. I can't, I can't do it. Um, but anyways, um, I'm about to go um, grab my mom. Yeah. Do you still do that? Um, that thing online? My vlogging? Yep. That's what I'm doing it for right now. So, we are barbecuing for the 4th of July. I'm just waiting for the baked beans to finish cooking. I just finished the chicken salad. <laughs> my just looking at me while I'm recording. This was it's, good. Yeah, this is really good. What was good again, ma? The chicken salad was great. Yeah. I'm just saying, I, I, I does this cooking thing. <laughs> but yeah, waiting for the baked beans to finish and then we're going to go outside. Finally made it out that hot ass kitchen. <laughs> About to go see what they got on the grill because I'm actually hungry. Uh, Grandma made sausages and hot dogs and those might have been ribs. I don't really know what those were. Yeah, ribs. I just looked at it fast. Jordan Collins. Go hit you. The girl on the screen. You want us to beat her up? Told What she look like. probably more than likely going to end the vlog right here because I'm relaxing. I'm about to go out, probably make me another plate. But I'm just in here to cool down because it's like, let's see, what is the temperature today? I'm going to be real accurate. Um, the temperature is 82 degrees. Yeah, it's hot. Temperature is 82 degrees. It's freaking hot. So, yeah, let me just sit here under this AC and cool off for a little bit. And, yeah. But, if you made it this far, don't. I, 
hold on. First of all, this is loud. So if you made it this far watching my video, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, and don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.